Hey guys, welcome to Digit.in and this is our comparison video of the Lure Eco Lure 2 versus the Xiaomi Redmi Note 3. You guys have asked us so many times in the comment section below which is a better phone and we thought why not put both the phones to the test against each other and see which one is better. Now the Redmi Note 3 is powered by the Snapdragon 650 SoC and the Lure Eco Lure 2 is powered by the Snapdragon 652 SoC. But before we get into performance differences of these two devices, let's quickly take a look at some of the specifications. Coming to the design, ergonomics and fingerprint. Metal seems to be the name of the game and both the Lure 2 and the Redmi Note 3 sport a metal design. Overall, the Lure 2 feels well built. While there is really nothing exceptional to talk about in its design, the Lure 2 looks suave and has a simplistic approach to it. The chipped edges add to its ergonomics which is somewhat compromised by the large display panel. It still feels good to hold but the metal chassis means that the grip is somewhat compromised. That though does not significantly differ its position as one of the more well-built devices in its price bracket. On the design front, Xiaomi has taken a slightly different approach for the Redmi Note 3 in comparison to previous Redmi Note devices. The Redmi Note 3 offers a metal body with a curved back that feels smooth, matte finish. In terms of form factor, it is well proportioned and is comfortable to use for a device with a 5.5 inch screen. The extra smooth finish at the back does make it a bit too slippery and prone to accidental falls. The shiny front metal edge is scuff prone, the paint does come off rather easily and impacts the look of the smartphone. The fingerprint sensor on both the smartphones is responsive and blazing fast, so there are no complaints here. So the design of the Lure Eco Lure 2 impressed us a little more than the design of the Redmi Note 3. Next up, we're going to talk about the display and the user interface. Straight off the bat, we can tell you that both the displays look good. They are the same size and resolution and are a treat to work with. Be it gaming, watching videos or performing everyday tasks, the displays are extremely good. Having said that, under direct sunlight, the performance of the Redmi Note 3's display is better thanks to its sunlight mode. Coming to the user interface, Lure Eco has its own EUI on the Lure 2. The device has an iOS-like control center giving you access to the multitasking menu, quick settings and more. The drop-down notification only shows you the notifications. It's a nice UI and we have the live app right in the center where the app draw usually is. Moving on to the Redmi Note 3, it has its own Mi UI 7 running on the smartphone. Xiaomi's Mi UI is one of the better UIs in terms of customizations and extras, which somewhat helps in offering more value to the buyer. It's easy to use and navigate and removes the app drawer completely. Now the user interface of both the smartphones is really really good, but it's actually a subjective decision based on which one you like a little better. The Digit team out here prefers the Mi UI a little more than the EUI on the Lure Eco Lure 2. Why? Because it offers a little bit more functionality. Next up, we have camera. The camera on the Lure 2 renders satisfactory colors and contrast levels, but the lack of sharpness and high noise levels somewhat ruins the color's details. The Redmi Note 3's camera, on the other hand, is fast in terms of focusing and capturing speed, but the core image quality degrades rapidly in low light. Now, if truth be told, we actually aren't happy with either of the cameras on these two smartphones. So let's put it this way. If you are looking for a smartphone with the best camera for a budget of about 15,000 rupees, we suggest you take a look at the Motorola Moto G4 Plus. That is one smartphone that has a really good camera for this price point. But when it comes to performance, I think it's these two that we need to consider. The Lure 2 ran all the games we threw at it with absolute ease and we are satisfied with the gaming performance. We played a bunch of games for a long duration and the smartphone handled every graphically heavy game we threw at it with ease. The Redmi Note 3 can also handle every game we threw at it without breaking a sweat. Graphically heavy games loaded fast and their execution was a delight as well. So yes, when it comes to gaming performance, both the smartphones are at par. Moving on to real world performance. This is where the Lure 2 takes the lead over the Redmi Note 3. 
The 652 powering the Lure 2 is about 25% more powerful than the Redmi Note 3. This means that everything will run smoother, load faster and overall be better on the Lure 2. This does not mean that the Redmi Note 3 is bad by any means. It's just that the Lure 2 has a faster, better processor. Simply because of the hardware, the Lure Eco Lure 2 is the winner here. Next up, it's battery life. Now the Redmi Note 3 not only packs in a 1000 mAh more than the Lure 2 but also scores higher on our Geekbench battery test. It's clear that the Redmi Note 3 is the winner when it comes to the battery life but we would like to inform you that it doesn't support fast charging, something the Lure 2 does support. Moving on to value for money, both the smartphones are great value for money devices. What you get with the Redmi Note 3 is a well-built phone with great performance and a good battery life. The UI offers some neat customization options. What you get with the Lure 2 is also a well-built smartphone with some new technology. The Lure Eco Lure 2 brings with it CDLA technology which means continuous digital lossless audio. What this means is you get better audio quality thanks to the USB Type-C port when compared to the traditional 3.5mm headphone jack that we have on the Redmi Note 3. And a suite of free services for one year. Now remember, Live and Lavidi are free for one year only. So if you want to continue it, you will have to pay more money, just like a subscription to Netflix or Hotstar. If we had to choose one, we would choose the Lure 2 simply because you get a faster processor and free video streaming services for one year. So here's answering the million dollar question. Which one of these two smartphones should you consider and why? Well, if sunlight visibility and a longer battery life is something that you are looking for, then we recommend you take a look at the Xiaomi Redmi Note 3. The sunlight visibility mode might be gimmicky for some, but it actually makes a slight difference when you're looking at this display outdoors. And the battery life on the Redmi Note 3 is way better than the Lure Eco Lure 2. Having said that, if you want the overall package with a faster processor, better overall performance and free subscription to video services for one year, then we suggest you take a look at the Lure 2. But gun to our head, if you actually asked us to pick one of these two devices, we would have to say that the undoubted champion for a price of about 12,000 rupees, if you are looking for a smartphone, we would have to recommend the Lure Eco Lure 2. Yes, there have been stories about display issues with the device and we've had this Lure 2 in ever since it launched in India, actually a week or so before that. And in our everyday tests, everyday usage, we haven't encountered any problems with this one. Having said that, we think it could be a manufacturing defect which led to a lot of units facing the issue that has been making the rounds on the internet. So this was our first comparison video between two smartphones. We plan to do a lot more of these just for you guys. You can let us know in the comment section below which two devices you want us to pit head to head against each other so we can bring you that comparison. You can also let us know what you thought of this video in the comment section below. You can leave us a comment and we'll do our best to get back to you on it. You can hit the like button if you liked it, hit the dislike button if you didn't like it. And for more videos like this one, subscribe to the Digit YouTube channel. We'll catch you in another video.